Hi, this is Vicki. Welcome back to another edition of Crafting for Fun. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. I just love the bold, bright colors in this card, and I really, really love the sentiment. It says, Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. This card is for a young couple. Uh, the young man who's going to be receiving this is graduating with a degree in pharmacy, and his girlfriend is graduating from college with a degree in education. And they are getting ready to make a lot of decisions about which direction to take their life in uh, to start their future. So let me show you which stamp sets I used. I used the sentiment from Wordplay. The Wordplay stamp set is by Stampin' Up! And then I used this image here from the Label Love stamp set, also by Stampin' Up! And it has a coordinating punch. It's called the Artisan Label Punch. So I used this punch. And then to create the circles, I used a three-quarter inch circle punch. You'll also need black ink and about six inches of grow grain ribbon for this card. Now let me show you which cardstock items you'll need. I used a piece of basic black cardstock. It measures four and one quarter inches wide by eleven inches long, and I scored it in the center at five and a half inches. The yellow layer on my card it measures four inches by five and one quarter inches, and the white layer is three and three quarter inches by five inches. I have scraps of red yellow and green. This is Daffodil Delight, Real Red, and Gumball Green. And then I have a scrap of white to stamp on. Um, so let me get my thing set up and I'll show you how I created this card. I'm going to begin by stamping first. And today I'm using Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. I like the really uh, true black color and I like the fact that it dries very quickly. And these are my two pieces of cardstock that I'm going to be stamping on, my three and three quarters by five inch, and then my scrap of white. So I'm going to begin with my with my uh, scrap of white, and I'm going to stamp my three label shapes to make my stoplight. Oops, and that piece of paper, I might have grabbed a scrap that's too small, so I have another scrap here. There we go. Oh, and I'm also going to need to stamp my sentiment. Sorry about that. So I'm going to ink up my sentiment stamp really good, and I'm going to stamp in the uh, near the lower right hand corner. There we go. Okay, so I'm ready to put my black ink away. Now I'm going to take my, my punch out, my artisan label punch, and I'm going to punch out the shape. And you see how it just lines up perfectly over the shape and leaves a, uh, if you're careful, you can line it up so that you leave a very uh, narrow border of white all around your image. And so that you don't have to watch me punch all of those out, I've gone ahead and punched the additional ones already, and um, so I'm ready to move on. So I'm going to take the scraps of red, yellow, and green that I have and my three-quarter inch punch, and I'm going to punch one three-quarter inch circle. Now you might be asking yourself what size these scraps are. These pieces are only one inch wide, and they're just kind of varying lengths. I just uh, cut them one inch wide because I knew that this punch is three-quarters of an inch in diameter, and so that I would need to leave a little bit extra so I had some wiggle room there. So now I'm ready to bring back, move these pieces aside, and I'm going to bring back my card base. I'm going to go ahead and fold my base in half and use my bone folder to get really good crease on that. And I'm going to bring my yellow piece back and I'm going to adhere my piece with my stamped sentiment to the yellow layer. I just want to make sure you center that up well. And now I'm going to turn my layer over and I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on both sides. Now I want to go about an inch down from the top and apply this ribbon. I told you you would need about six inches of ribbon. So I'm going to go about an inch down from the top and adhere that and then I'm just going to go Boy, that was pretty good. That was almost exactly an inch. 
and I'll go ahead and uh, wrap that around so that it sticks on the back. And now I'm ready to put this layer on my card, but I want to uh, pop it up just a bit, so I'm going to add pop dots or dimensionals. Oops. I'm going to put them in all four corners and in the middle at the top and bottom. And then I just hate when a card kind of buckles in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and stick a couple more in the middle there. May seem like a lot of pop dots, but the people who are receiving this card are pretty important to me. I think a great deal of them, and so I want this card to be perfect. I'm removing all those liners. Whoops. And one more. And now I'm just going to add this to the center of my base card. There we go. And now I'm ready to begin. I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to begin uh, constructing my little light pieces here. I just love the stoplight imagery in this card. It's such a simple card, but I think it's a uh, it's cheerful and happy. So I'm going to do the red one. Now the thing uh, that's important to remember about these is you just want to center the circle so that you get an even border of white all the way around them. Do the yellow one next. I like to scoot that one up a bit. There we go. And green. Now to adhere these to my card, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually put them so that they straddle the ribbon. And so I'm going to apply a little bit of pop dot above and below where that ribbon actually hits. So um, you can actually just cut the pop dots in half. That works great. And I'm going to take a half of a pop dot and go at the top and a half at the bottom like that. That way it gets uh, adhered well to the card, but it also gets elevated above that ribbon. And one more. Oops, don't like the placement of that one. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and I like to put the yellow one in place first because it's in the middle. I do red, then yellow, then green and that way I can work kind of to either side. So I'm going to go kind of in the center of the card and I'm going to put the yellow one on there. I'm going to do the red one next. And green. And of course if you don't have some of these items you could always substitute whatever you have. Use a different sentiment. You might choose to cut out a stoplight using a die cutting machine like the Cricut or the Silhouette. And the only thing that I would do in addition to that on this card is I would add a liner to the inside because it is a dark colored card and since a standard card is five, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half, this has been cut at four inches by five and a quarter. And I would just adhere that to the inside of the card so that I could write my message. But if you've watched any of my tutorials before, you would know that I often cut my liners but do not attach them to my cards until I'm ready to use them. That way, if when I'm writing my message, I make a mistake, I don't have to uh, destroy my card to, to get a new uh, liner in place. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you have any questions, please email me at craftingforfun at gmail.com or you can always check out my blog, craftingforfun.blogspot.com for additional craft ideas. Hope to see you back here again soon.